Hey you guys, this is Salmon here with Play Samurai Siege, and in today's episode, I was uh just about to tell you guys that I was watching the previous two Let's Plays to only know that the sound quality was terrible. So in today's Let's Play, we're gonna try and fix that. And if the uh, audio quality is not good today, what we're gonna do is record the audio separate. So um yeah, so let's talk about some of the upgrades that we want to do in today's episode. Um, first of all, we want to um rebuild the ancient temple because I just realized that that's going to unlock the spells, the spell scrolls um, uh, and if you play Clash of Clans it's pretty much kind of like a spell factory so uh, yeah let's go ahead and start the repair oh it looks like I can't repair it because I need to go to the world map and repair it so um, we're just going to raid uh, a couple of we're going to do a couple of raids and see what we can do um, you can see that I got tons of uh, essence right now, so yeah, I'm probably going to need to spend that in the next couple of let's plays, or in the next couple of raids, so um, let's see what we can do. There's nothing that really takes up a ton of essence other than this um, ancient temple, so we can't really do much with that, and then the practice rods are maxed out for castle level 4, so uh, yeah, by the way, um, when, uh, while I was away, I was connected to terrible Wi-Fi, so I couldn't record at that point in time. So instead, I decided that I'm just going to do a couple of, um, raids, go for some gold, and, um, uh, upgrade some of these walls. So you can see I got all the walls to level 3, and I even got some level 4 walls. So, um, yeah, I did some pretty epic raiding. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into our very first raid with 22 samurais and 58 ninjas, and then, of course, I was donated 5 samurai. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and request a couple more troops, and I am in, I am in a clan right now. And once I get 50 subscribers, I think I'm gonna create my own clan. So if you guys want to join my clan, then go ahead and tell all your friends to subscribe so that we can um, start a clan a little earlier. So um, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and jump into our very first raid of the day. All right, guys. So I think what we're gonna be doing is I think we should start off with the single player maps right now because I really want to unlock the commander. And right after the commander is the blacksmith, which will allow me to upgrade my troops. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by dropping a couple of samurais on each of the arch towers here, and they're gonna take care of those arch towers. And then. We're going to drop about four rams down here, and another four rams here, and then we're going to drop the rest of our guys here, or at least a couple of our guys, and we're going to do it nice and slowly because there are freeze traps, and then we have all the cannons to worry about because they will be attacking. So we're going to be dropping them slowly but surely, and they destroy that guy. And I think we should we could have brought an extra ram and three start it, but um that's alright. We did unlock or we didn't unlock anything yet, but we did unlock the next single player mission, which will allow us to unlock the commander. So my guys are pretty much just being demolished by these cannons, but we're gonna try our luck and see if they can get through. And it looks like yeah, they didn't really make it through the walls. Anyways. So, not too much in the resource side. We did get 15,000 um, coins, though. And uh, we're going to train another army so that we can unlock that one commander place. So, let's go ahead and strategize on how we're going to do this. And uh, let's go ahead and click the attack button and see how this looks. Alright, so I think for this one... Oh, okay. Um, looks like it just wants me to train some guys. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is training some samurais in each of these. Probably not too many ninjas. Maybe uh, 10 ninjas if we want to. So we're going to put a couple of ninjas in here. Um, we're going to put 10 ninjas here. And we're also going to put two... S we're going to put two rounds, I think. And then I'm going to make the rest of the guys samurai. So let's go ahead and equally distribute... Um, the dojos, so we're gonna make it about nine minutes each. So this is a good way to train your troops quickly. Um, just make the um, training of the dojos equal. So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove two guys from this one, a guy from this one, 
and another guy from this one, and I'm going to wait for my army to train, it'll be training in, trained in 9 minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and do the next single player map once that's done. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the next map now. Alright, so for this one, we're going to be using 59 Samurais, 11 Ninjas, and 2 Rams. So let's go ahead and get into our battle. Um, we're going to be doing the level in which we, un which we unlock the Commander. So let's go ahead and attack this. And I think I'm going to attack from the bottom, like right here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to destroy this with a couple of ninjas. Then I'm going to put some samurais in here, some ninjas in here. Maybe put a ram over there. And put another, put some more samurais here. Just deploy them nice and slowly. Oh, looks like the ninjas went running in the wrong direction. Um, But it looks like the ninjas went into a direction in which there was tons of resources so yeah all right so it looks like um the freeze tower is freezing my units but they destroyed that um thing so yeah that's pretty cool and um yeah that's pretty much all the units i yeah i've used up all the units and that freeze tower just keeps on freezing my guys so i can't even destroy that one building over there so, yeah, that sort of sucks. Anyways, I don't think we're going to be able to get three stars. Um, but we did get two stars, so that's good. Um, looks like they're going to destroy that last samurai, and that's going to be it for this battle. We do have one more ram, but there's, that's pretty much nothing we can do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and retreat now. And we got quite a bit of resources. We didn't get too much, so I'm going to go ahead and continue and just leave with my resources. And... <clears throat> So, we did finally unlock the commander, so that's pretty cool. And, um, our next one is taking command, and it looks like either we can go this way or this way, I'm not exactly sure. Um, so one way or the other, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and train for, um, the third raid. And, um, yeah, once we're, once we're done with the third raid, I think that'll wrap it up for this Let's Play. And then we're probably going to upgrade two archer towers or something of that sort. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and find where exactly we're going to be unlocking the spell factory thing. Um, Alright, yeah, it looks like we're pretty far from that. Because first we upgrade the laboratory, and then we got to upgrade the archers. And now it's not even showing anything on that way. So it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a while before we upgrade, uh, before we get to... Um, before we get to repair the ancient temple. Alright, so now we're going to do the final raid today, which will be another single player map. So let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, taking command. Alright, so in this one, it looks like it's going to be pretty simple. There are only four arch towers in this, so I'm going to go ahead and drop some samurais on each of the arch towers to take those out. Um, looks like some of the samurais are going the wrong way. So, yeah, okay. Um, Alright, so let's just drop a couple more guys here. And they should take care of those arch towers. And then I'm going to drop some guys to take care of this arch tower. And you can see that they're getting to business on that arch tower and this one as well. So, those are pretty much the only four defenses. No cannons, no freeze towers, no nothing of that sort. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, my guys are just going to pretty much just destroy the rest of the base. So, you can see they're doing pretty well. And uh, I got some guys up here. Some of them are going to the essence wells. Some of the guys are trying to break through these level 4 walls over here. And then I have no one on this side. I'm just going to drop a couple of guys here. Uh, just to speed up the process. So, yeah, let's drop some guys down here too. Again, guys, you don't really need to drop these troops. This is just here to speed up the process, so yeah. Alright, so I've dropped pretty much all my troops, and now my guys are going to try and break through the walls and get to the castle in the middle. Alright, so it looks like a set of guys have broken into the wall, and they're going to go ahead and take care of this castle. Um, so they took care of that castle, no problem, and we are done with this raid. 
So that'll pretty much wrap it up for this um, episode. I'm going to go ahead and finish the upgrades that we were going to do today. So let's go ahead and head back to base. And it looks like we have two builders available. So yeah, and then our essence is maxed out. Maxed out. The only problem is we can't really upgrade anything with our essence right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade two of these arch towers. I'm going to upgrade this one to level five. And then this one to level five as well. Alright guys, so I'm also going to be showing you um, a defensive replay and with some guy who used this uh, commander on my base. He kind of epic failed on it, so uh, yeah, he started down here. You can see he's dropped his commander. It's that big red guy who keeps um, drawing out those red circles. And um, he's pretty much directing the units to go and attack those arch towers uh, or any defensive unit. And he himself also attacks the defensive units, um, but he doesn't do that much damage, so... Yeah, um, you can see that they just killed their, his, um, commander. My defenses just killed, uh, his commander, and then these guys are being frozen and, uh, attacked by the cannon. So, uh, yeah, th that's the freeze tower cannon strategy, uh, which is really good on defense, as I explained in my previous Let's Play, I believe. And, uh, yeah, they're just gonna steal as much as they can. They didn't exactly steal too much at all. Um, I believe they stole like 9,000 or something of that sort. Um, yeah, it looks like they just stole like 10,000 resources. So yeah, this base has been really, really successful overall. Nobody's been stealing a pretty good amount of loot. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm going to be showing you guys my uh, 1.3 million resource raid picture. So let's go ahead and show that thing up. About 7... 185,319 resource, uh, coins, and 554,801, um, essence, and I did get 70% and 17 honor with only a couple of troops, as you can see, I, I only used, uh, 70 troops, so, uh, yeah, that was, that was a really, really awesome raid, and, um, I hope to get more raids like this, the only problem was I only had about 360,000 space in in my storage, so I couldn't fit 1.3 million in there. Um, but I, I decided that I'm just going to keep on raiding, and I'm going to show you guys uh, how much I got for that. So hopefully we'll get more raids like this, and I'll be able to record it live on my Let's Play. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more awesome raids like this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.